The first step in installing the CNPS 11X is going to be preparing the back plate. The back plate comes with no screws, or screw holes I should say, nuts installed, and they have to be installed into the appropriate slots. We're going to be using an AMD, so we're going to use these four slots. The nut will drop into the hole, and a small plastic fixture drops over the top and pushes into place. With all four in place, it's simply a matter of putting in the rubber spacer and then affixing it with double sided tape to the back of the motherboard. With the back plate in place, the cooler itself can be put into the case. The fan does have to come off and to be able to reach the two mounting bolts right here and right here. Two more mounting bolts around the back. Just screw right into the back plate. The fan is then reattached, obviously. Uh, much easier with a right angled screwdriver if you have one, if you're doing it inside of the case. Installed in the case, the CNPS 11X has a very nice presence to it. It uh, has a nice smoky black look to the cover, whereas the heat sinks and fins have the black pearl nickel plating. The blue LED fan is not an overly bright blue. It gives a nice glow to the inside of the case without being that bright iridescent blue that uh, so many of the less expensive LED fans have. This has a nice deep blue look to it. Overall, the installation was a little frustrating due to a couple of steps omitted in the installation guide, but overall not too bad. Uh, probably the worst part being the fact that you need to get to the two bolts located back here underneath the fan. Uh, you do need to take the fan off, once again not included in the installation guide. It is a much easier cooler to put on outside of the case than it is inside of the case, but inside of the case it can be done.